time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again. Boy. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 21. Fires it quickly. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. From the 50, it's second down. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10, and a huge touchdown play. Looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. And he converts the extra point. A four play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys kind of be coming over to the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 7-0. Ridgeway makes it the 15. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. goes at about the 23 yard line so the halfback loses about two on the run from their own 23 yard line second down to a nine-yard pickup there on the slant. From their own 32-yard line, it's third down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's scrambling. And they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And that'll be three and out. Mayo is the punter. Tackle at the 
it's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. He's at the 40. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 18. Bring him down at about the 19-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got him. And he goes down quickly. We've got a change at the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. This isn't much more than an extra point. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Line up to kick this one away. Ridgeway takes it to 15. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 31. Gets to about the 34-yard line. First down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of down. And we've reached the end of one. The Panthers with a 10-point lead. We welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 39-yard line. It's second down. Makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a game three yards. That'll bring up 36. Oh, you got deep? Mark four. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And 
that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Room around the corner. And they push him out at the 40-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Little handoff. Got some open field. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. He's taken down at the 20. That makes it first and 10. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. And he's stopped behind the line. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. That'll bring up second and 12. Inside the 10, and that sets them up with a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown! his second touchdown of the day. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Ridgeway feels it at the 17, and he's tackled at the 31. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 29. He lets it fly. Brought down around the 42-yard line. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. He fights forward to about the 39. From the 39-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He scrambles. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of four on the That makes it third and three. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it.
nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 14. He's on the run. Tackle at the 10. He gets about four yards on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. It's third and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Right forward, right forward. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. That'll bring up fourth and five. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Tillman has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Inside the 30. To the 10. And he will score. Wow, what a return for a touchdown. That kind of burst and escape ability is so rare and so much fun to watch. point they might just want to squib this one only a few seconds left here before halftime Ridgeway fields at the 17 he's taken down at the 33 yard line first half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms the Panthers with a three touchdown advantage We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset they haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. 
There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's going to try and scramble. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. They're about four yards away here on second down. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Again with a run, and not this time. He's hit hard for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. there on the counter. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Play fake and looking to run. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. On the inside handoff, they'll get him for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. That brings us third and 14. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Steps up, darts it to the left, and he's immediately tackled. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 13. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. This is picture perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Here's a quick throw. Oh, my gosh. How did he drop that? The offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and he's got it.
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And off to the right. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. They'll bring him down at the 42. That's a game of 11 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. taken down for a loss. He just timed the snap count there. It really made a nice play. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. That's a team made on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. First down. From the 43-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Good open field tackle. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. First foul. foul. Clippy. Clippy. Offense. Offense. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. So at the end of three, the Panthers lead 24-6. Let's go, let's go! Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Five yards on the delayed handoff. That brings up second and 13. From the 46 yard line, second down. Here comes the pressure. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 47 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's out of bounds around the 39-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Steps out of bounds at the 36-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? On the throw, incomplete pass. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. 
That makes it from their own 36 yard line. It's second down. That's a great tackle at the 44. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll make it 31. First down catch by the fullback. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. The fullback is a safety valve for the quarterback most times. So it's pretty reassuring to know you've got a safety valve as talented as this guy. From the 42-yard line, first down. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 36. is out for the tailback on the screen. Brought down around the 29-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's scrambling. He's at the 20. And they make the stop at the 17-yard line. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. And that sets them up for the first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the five. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it 30 goal. Tenth play of the drive. And it pays off. Touchdown. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just over two minutes in the game. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. The Eagles are going to call their second timeout. About four yards and a counter to the halfback. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Gets out to around the 15. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Decent pickup. That'll make it second and seven. From the 11 yard line. Second down. And 
he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. Got their eyes on that goal line. The Panthers coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.